Hello, this is Ann Brock. I'm here to walk you through a scenario about the ITIL incident to problem process. First, let's meet our cast of characters. Jackson is a, works for a large corporation doing a wide variety of things. He does AutoCAD, he does training, he does this and that and the other thing. Because of all this, he's often on the go and needs IT help wherever he can get it. <clears throat> let's meet Emma. Emma is part of support. She's really focused on delivering value to the business side, making sure she helps the business, she doesn't hinder it. And she always looks for new ways, new tools to help her company become more successful. What if your service desk solution really followed the ITIL processes inherently? And what if your support analysts had some visibility into existing problems? Also, what if your problem managers could actually see the trends in problem management so they better know how things are getting impacted by existing problems? Let's see what that will look like. Jackson's working today from his desk. He's gotten a new project, and that project says he needs to access the Imagine software. But he's not able to get to it. It seems to be down. So Jackson logs into his self-service portal. First thing he does, of course, is check the broadcast to see if there are any messages out about Imagine. But there don't seem to be. So he's going to go ahead and put in a ticket so that the support desk, the help desk, is aware he's not able to access it pretty easy for him to go ahead and put in a ticket. He can put in more details if he wants, or you can just go ahead and submit it. Now that that's in the queue, he can work on one of his other projects while this is getting resolved. In the meantime, Emma is watching her chatter feed. She can be doing this on her desktop. There's a desktop pop-up. There's a mobile access, of course, or in this case, we're looking at chatter within the Salesforce platform itself. Chatter is a social media platform where you can follow people and groups, share information, share documents, other things as well. But what's very cool in this case, Emma's actually following all Priority One tickets. So you can follow tickets by priority. You can also follow services. So for example, if a service gets attached to a change, you can get a notification in your Chatter feed. Very nice for business service owners. So Chatter is a really nice social tool that comes with the Salesforce platform. So Emma sees that a Priority One ticket has come into the queue, and she's going to go ahead and take a look at it, see if there's anything she can do for the customer. Of course, one of the first things Emma wants to do is see if, do we already know about this? So when the ticket comes up and she sees it's around Imagine, he's not able to access Imagine, the first thing she's going to go do is go to Record Details and see if there's an associated problem. So she comes down here and the, clicks on the Select and Link Problems to Incident. She sees the list come up, she sees indeed there already is a problem record underway. And problems, of course, are root cause analysis to determine why incidents are happening. So, our problem managers are aware that we have some incidents coming in about Imagine. There's been a problem opened to address the root cause of that. And now Emma's going to go ahead and link this incident to this problem record so the problem managers know hey, there's another incident around this. And also, so when that problem is resolved and closed, all the attached incidents are closed and all the people who reported those incidents will be notified. That's a really nice handy service desk tool because service desk analysts don't have to close them one by one, but they'll all be closed at once and everybody will be notified. Now it's also going to come up here and go to the incident tickets chatter feed. Yes, tickets can also have a chatter feed. So she's going to put out a note to Jackson Smith letting him know that this is part of a known issue, and she's going to go ahead and share that. That's not only attached as a rec part of the record of the ticket, but now Jackson, in his chatter feed, whether it's mobile, whether it's desktop, or whether it's through a self-service portal, will also get that message. So now we're using the social media to really communicate with our end users wherever they are. So Jackson back on his self-service page, can always come in and look at his chatter post, and most likely it's going to be his desktop pop-up or his mobile device where he'll see that. So what have we shown you today? We showed you that with Remedy Force, service desk analysts can easily follow the ITIL process. Everything's tied together, everything's easy to see. Because of those linkages, Emma was very easily able to see what problems were already out there and link to an existing problem. And because she was able to link that incident to the problem, problem managers now have a better idea of the scope of the problem. So all in all, we're going to get you know, some tools for support 
and better satisfaction for the end users because of course they'll know immediately as soon as that problem is resolved.